Welcome to Satisfactory Update 3. We are cur currently playing on the experimental build, as that is where we get access to Update 3. So, I'm not going to go through all of the uh, patch notes, obviously, but a few highlights from uh, what they're writing here on the uh, side is that uh, they have added pipes. And that looked quite cool in the um, trailer that I watched. They've also added uh, resource sinks in the uh, awesome sink and store uh, that they have teased about. They have also added hyper tubes and that just looked incredibly cool. So that's something I really look forward to, uh, to trying. They have also added a new... Um, or new is probably stretching it a bit. It's been in the game, as far as I'm aware, the Gene Desert. But they've reworked it into a new starting area. Um, that is not where I uh, have started my base. Um, I've rather started in a location that I uh, like to uh, play in quite a bit. But this is the new uh, Dune Desert. A harsh starting point with large open spaces, vast distances and very contained foliage locations. I'm s t I tend to prefer the uh, Rocky Desert, so that is where I have started the base. Um, it's a barren medium-sized area bordering the sea, which is mostly flat with nicely balanced distances and building opportunities, but limited biomass. That is not really a big issue to me. Let's just uh, jump into the game. I've uh, already built a little bit. Like I've uh, built all the uh, basic infrastructure so that we can... Uh, start right um, up at where the actual base building begins because all of this is temporary but to give a, a quick tour um, uh, we are at the northern area or in a more northern point of the um, the uh, biome we have uh, two pure iron ore nodes here and we have one pure limestone node over there that is uh, quite useful, of course. I should go pick up the concrete as well. There we go. And up here we have an impure copper node. So copper is something that uh, this starting location... This is what you can accidentally end up here, but... Um, copper is something that we need to fetch from uh, down in the desert. The uh, location here is uh, pretty nice for uh, quick evolution. There is a large flat area down there. And for those of you who have watched my previous tutorials, this is the area where I actually uh, have been building the base that I was uh, showcasing in that tutorial, uh, or in both of those tutorials. So there's oil as well, somewhere uh, down there in the south. So we have access to most of the things from here. We also have more iron over there, and I think uh, there is another limestone node somewhere over there. But uh, copper, that will be down there, I think near that mesa thing there. I don't remember, but we'll figure that one out quick enough. Um, let's grab this wire. And... Uh, Actually, that's one way to get down from there without damaging myself. Excellent. We have one of these factories or constructors are creating uh, iron plates. The other one is creating iron rods. Uh, all of this is temporary, mind you. Um, I do not really like building without... Um, foundations so um, let's see here for logistics we need these things we have those things and I would dearly dearly uh, want splitters so let's uh, grab that and launch pod 
Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. Verticality. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Is that something new, this productivity thing? I don't think so. It's not that I'm aware of. And that's going to be rather annoying if you get more hub parts every time you uh, start the game. You can only build one hub anyways. Oh, snack tree. Um, I need to find somewhere I can dump those, because I really don't need many, many hub parts. Um, let's just drop them uh, up here, I think. There we go. And we need more concrete for the uh, foundations. Not that we're going to be able to build any foundations uh, yet anyways, but uh, now that I can do splitters, I can set up... Uh, I can set up another um, concrete uh, constructor over here. That should help a bit. Need to check the power though. We have 100 megawatt capacity, so that's something. Let's uh, do that. Let's make another constructor here. Oh, I'm missing iron plates. That's inconvenient. Inconvenient. What? I think you mean that I'm lacking reinforced iron plates, which is a completely different thing indeed. Well, I'm gonna have to go make them then. And that will of course require cat crafting. Let's see here. Um, reinforced iron plates, that requires 12 screws per plate. Um, let's make 96 screws then. make eight reinforced iron plates that should be uh, sufficient for the time being I will require more of them though and it's night time I think that's something that they've added with this uh, this patch, if I'm not comply, I might be completely mistaken. I haven't played Satisfactory, well, I guess since the series that I did together with Catherine and uh, Exterminator, so it's been quite some time, so do expect me to uh, fumble Milestone and... Milestone uh, exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Oh, that's nice. Do expect me to stumble and make mistakes. Uh, because I honestly don't remember all the things. Um, we need a splitter. And another belt. And set this to concrete. I don't think we're going to build more of them because these require... Well, I could potentially build one more, but it, I think it's more useful to just overclock these two. So I think we're good with two of them out here. Now, I guess we could build a temporary storage container for concrete. Um, can I 
put a merger directly on that. Yes, I can. There we go. We get all the concrete in here, and we, we need quite a bit of it, I believe. Yeah, we need 200 of it just to uh, start the research. Meanwhile, I think it would be a good idea to uh, build a couple more This can smelt 30, that one outputs 120, so if I build another smelter Again, this is just a temporary setup I want these on the on the uh, bar actually. That can be number one, two, three, four. And then power can be five and six. There we go. Three, one, and set this up to smelt iron ingots. This one we can have on seven. We can set up another constructor. And this one we can also set to making iron plates. Happen to have a lot of iron. Now we need more power. Um, Again, this is just temporary, so... And how is the power currently? Oh, it's within tolerance, I should say. Um, to get this, we still need 70 concrete. Let's go check if we have that by now. Spouse. Also, the reason I'm not using uh, one of my older saves for this is because A, I don't have them, but also they've changed quite a bit in this update, so I think that using an old save would actually uh, complicate things uh, quite a bit. Besides, it's fun to... Uh, I haven't played the game in so long that it's it's fun for me to actually experience the game from the beginning again and, and see all the new things as they appear, instead of just building onto something that I already have built and then experiencing, in quotation mark, the new stuff. Okay, let's uh, get this underway. And boom. Milestone the port seems to disappear. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Yep, that makes Colidor unhappy. Um, Now, the next thing we need is the, uh, oh, the pod has been launched, so we have to wait for it to return before we can actually make a new, uh, or even see what we can do next. Um, I need more iron plates currently. Let's go nab the ones in these. I guess we can nab these as well. Copper cable, we have plenty, or copper wire, I should say. We have plenty of that, and that is produced up there. The thing we need the most at the moment is uh, definitely um, co 
concrete. Which is produced slowly. Steadily, but slowly. Let's start concreting our base. Uh, foundations. Um... That one's new. The question is, how do I want these uh, foundations? It's the highest point here. If I build a foundation... There. A rock out there is going to be an issue until I can get it away. I think I can get it away. I actually don't remember. But I can't remember that rock being there when I had the base previously, so I must at least have found some way to uh, bypass it. Um, let's put that one on nine. So... Yeah, that'll do, I think. How is this... little, um, in quotation marks, struggle? that I need more concrete definitely need to overclock those things or I need to tap the other limestone deposit because I'm going to be using quite a bit of concrete there we are guess we should remove these conveyor belts as well while I'm at it, I might just as, might as well put the iron ore in these uh, smelters. Actually, let's uh, let's grab everything from these. Let them build. I think I have enough um, concrete to um, deal with tapping the other uh, limestone deposit. Grab this snack. Here are some more iron nodes. I believe these are... Are they pure as well? Wow. Yeah, now I remember why I like this point. Four pure iron nodes. In this little area, that's quite a lot. You know, Caledon, you can actually use the scanner. There it is. The snack tree here. Are there any nasty wildlife here? This one is also pure. Huh. There we go. And 
Oh, I need another portable miner. Hi there. Thank you. Bye. Miner MK1. Get that. Guess I should clear out the area of uh, leaves. This is useful for the biomass too, so and also the wood I get. But I can't wait until I get the chainsaw. Okay, let's build two constructors here. I think I need more um, reinforced iron plates. This is going to be looking absolutely ridiculous with the tree in the middle of that, but uh, that I'm not really concerned with. Um, can I actually... Wow. Impressive. Um, like that. Now, of course, it would be helpful to have power, so... Um, that is something that I uh, need to go back to pick up. Let's uh, grab some wildlife while we're running back. Here we are. I'm going to ignore the... Um, nodes for now. And let's pick up the contents of these constructors so that we uh, can redo this part of the base as well. And also stash these things in here. We have some iron ore and some limestone ore. Limestone I can... No, I'll just put it in the uh, constructors out there. There we go. Now, power. gonna build them not too far apart in case I need to uh, grab power off the uh, network. The uh, six nodes definitely uh, helps over these uh, four power nodes. Although I'm used to, uh, to the um, four nodes as well, so I can make do, but... Uh, I would definitely prefer having the, um, the six ones. Um, connect these. That's probably a mistake because well, I can use that one if I need to go further on. And eventually I will. I, I remember that I had to go that way. Plenty of iron plates, actually. So we need a conveyor merger. That is probably an excellent place for it. Connect these up. I'm not terribly concerned with uh, what things look like currently.
this belt I'm just going to make very long. Because basically what I intend to do is to connect it up with the uh, other uh, storage container so I don't have to run to separate locations to, uh, to get these. able to just connect the uh, belt onto the um, already existing merger there. Oh, no, I cannot, because the merger is actually down here. So I guess we'll do this, and then that. Grab this. One of those belts can carry 60. I just need to check here. It's producing 15, so four of them is equal 60. Perfect. And these are done. deconstruct can't take away the power yet because these are not done so uh, like to uh, make sure that everything's done this one is done we can uh, stash the uh, iron ingots in here we can start making more foundations. So... This is at least an outline so far. Just have to wait for that belt to empty. Ah, the glorious concrete is being conveyed into our base. What more can you ask for? So until we get MK2 belts, these can only support two smelters, I think. No, four smelters, actually. Because this produces uh, 120 ore. So I think one smelter is 15. Probably want some uh, ramps here. Like so. This one seems unnecessary. You seem to be done as well.
We're very slowly getting there. Let's go have a look at the uh, the research uh, target in the hub. Field research requires 300 screws. Okay. I can make screws. It's going to take a while, but uh, here we go. Phone crafting for the win. I guess I could have could pause the recording while I do this, but um, it's not a huge deal. I mean, who doesn't enjoy watching me uh, phone craft? Or cat craft? Well, I don't think Gizmo would be very uh, cooperative if I tried sticking him on my spacebar. He would probably be all over the keyboard and uh, also... Uh, my keyboard would be fuzzy afterwards from uh, gizmo fur. That cat shed so much that you could probably make a sweater uh, if you just keep him around for a year and uh, gather up his hair. There we go, that's 300 screws. We need more, but uh, let's just get the research done first and foremost. Um, okay, and 100, and boom. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Excellent. Now we can put the nuts here. I think we can swap between them like that. That's the mouse wheel, by the way. Sort these. I still have 60 limestone. Um, first of all, uh, this slug has a strong... I have to build the MAM? What? Ah. That's also new. And of course it requires reinforced iron plating. Now I'm thumb crafting. Imagine that. Can't wait until I get screwed uh, construction machines set up. Let's make 96 again. Then eight reinforced iron plates. There we go. I'm surprised they made the mum a separate building. But I guess it makes sense because I I guess that means you can build more of them, so you can have mams um, where you need them, instead of having to travel back to the hub every time. Okay, does this thing require power? It doesn't say. Power slugs. Start research. That is much quicker than usual. The analysis of green power slugs is completed. Please choose a new node in the tree to begin a new analysis. New recipe unlocked. Okay, so we New have... research available in the MAM. Slug scanning. That seems new as well. Can research flower petals. And we can research these. Research the knots. Can't afford, no, because the fact that I'm holding them in my hand, of course, blocks me from researching them. Um, oh, I do have them in my... No? This is my inventory. This is the chest. Good, Caledorn. Uh, let's get the mushroom as well. Alien organisms. We can research this since it's just three seconds. Alien carapace. 
The analysis is completed. What the heck is that sound? Um, then let's research the alien organs. Completed. But we need... That sound is so bizarre. I haven't heard that before. Let's do that. Organic properties. So now we can make... How... <laughs> How peculiar that sound. Okay, so we can make biomass out of um, alien organs now. Medicinal inhaler, that's useful. Inflated pocket dimension, that's something. 2,000 copper wire, okay. Well, it's five inventory slots. This one is object scanner improvements. That's something we're not going to be able to research for quite some time with these requirements. I mean, crystal oscillators, stators, and uh, an object scanner. Uh, carapaces, we'll get those soon enough. Um, nutritions, let's research the shroom. That takes three minutes. And... Where did I get those screws from? There we go. Put this one back. This one is done. This one is done. Perfect. Now what we need is... Um... Oh, thank you. Lots and lots and lots of concrete. I seem to recall there was something else I wanted to do out here. Oh, yeah, that was what it was. I want to put the limestone into the machine. Ah. That's problematic. The belts is too slow. Or, uh, the belts are too slow. Pardon my uh, Norwegian uh, confusion about the words. Is, are, were... And was. Keep doing those mistakes. And sort these, sort these. Iron ingots. Okay. Well, I think that we're at a good spot for. Um, Ending this first episode. Uh, this is a rather nice start. Now to build more foundations, of course. That is a major thing that's going to happen now. So... Um, also need to build some kind of uh, foundation... Um, uh, ladder or something so i can get those copper wires down here and put them into a container and we should get the chainsaw as quickly as possible as well um we could go check what is required for that because i think the pod is back even though we can't see it obstacle clearing 500 screws 100 cable okay so i'll cat craft these things that also gives us solid biofuel so i'll craft these things that i need for this between episodes and um, when we come to the next episode we will send off that and we can start clearing out some of the trees and build more foundations and all the things yep that sounds like a good plan thank you all so much for joining me and i will see you all in the next episode